And welcome back, guys. We have another episode coming up. Um, so, yeah, uh, I had, uh, I was given a surprise day off. So, unless I was called in at the last minute, um, I should be currently streaming on Twitch. So, you know, come hang out with me over there. Um, and unless you don't want to, but then by all means, uh, keep watching this video. I mean, the video will still be here while I'm done streaming, but I mean, I won't be streaming, in, you know, in a few hours. That is if you're watching around the time this is uploaded, uh, which is about 10 a.m. Central Time. Must have been quite stately in this time. Okay, so... Me, uh, what quest was I working on? Yeah. So I decided that um, all of the collection stuff around the map, um, I'll just do those off off screen. Um, we're gonna have enough to do with um, the story quests and the side quests and stuff like that. You guys don't need to watch me, you know, collect thirty freaking demi guy statues or do the ninety Merlin trials and however many of those little ancient magic things there are they're all pretty much the same thing they're ultra repetitive and super boring i've watched after a while and i'm not gonna bore you guys with that stuff um that's stuff i could easily do uh on my own time just spare you guys that monotony plus there's like three million videos on youtube to show you how those things are done like i said super boring you guys aren't here to watch me do all that stuff. You're here to watch me do the missions and the chaos of the story. So we'll stick with that. Oh, but I did do one thing. Actually, that reminds me. I went ahead and I went through my entire notes to find all my Daedalian keys. Um, and I found what one I was missing. And I went and got it. Where is it? So now I can open the chest in the Slytherin common room. It's pretty much just a set of like antique robes. It's people say they're supposed to glow whenever you do magic. So what we're going to do is we're going to challenges coming along nicely. We're gonna wear those robes for a little while just to see if they actually glow whenever you cast magic. Another house token for the house chest. Here we go, the last house token. Time to see what's inside. There we go. Look at that. Thanks goes to the full man. Where is it? Oh, this does not have a hood. Um. There's really not a cool, like... Eh, that'll kind of work. Oh! It does, in fact... It does kind of glow when you ever use magic. That is uh, a pretty cool look. Oh, it's the Bloody Baron. Not sure if I'm gonna keep that look though. Um, it's it's a cool concept. Uh, the lack of a hood though is kind of disappointing for me. So we're gonna go back to this. 
I kind of like this look. Why is this still glowing? Well, we're going back to remove requirement and knock out that threshold. Uh, the breeding quest since, you know, I spent all that time collecting stuff, so the 30 minutes should be up. Groom and feed the thestral, thestral offspring. Oh my god, you're so adorable. Try and Joey wants some love. Great to see everybody. You know about the newborn festival. Oh, come on, trying to just collect everything here. you all the feed like there surely not be any reason why you're all not fed uh. oh okay I was so worried I'm like no I didn't I thought it was dead it was just looking there right, everyone should be fed and pampered so we're gonna do ball time. Go get it, guys. <laughs> All right, Deke. I, ha I have baby Thestral now. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. 
Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. I don't think Deke needs to, uh, Deke needs to make amends for anything. Alright. Oh, yeah. I can actually go find her now. No. Ah. I mean, am I going to tell her what I found in that chest? No. If she wanted to know what's in those chests, she should have found it herself. What are you up to now? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting uh, costume. Really did. Oh, well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Well, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have told her. Arrest the momentum. Expelliarmus. Incendio. <laughs> Throw snowballs at me, Mr. Snowman. Who would have thought someone as young as me could save my uncle's life? Uh, you didn't. I did. Uncle Roland sent his best. He often asks after you and his. All right. Then we go talk to uh, Poppy. Come on. I want. Pass shadow point. Which is very conveniently like five feet away from her. Hogs meet, here I come. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai's statues, and the moons contained therein, were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. She's a rather skilled tracker. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. 
perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Just point out the obvious. can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Shit, your point. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. I'm actually more concerned oh, about... One more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. I'm actually more concerned about her thinking we're food. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Let's... Alchemy supplies are always nice. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Expelliarmus! Crucible. Arrest the momentum. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least... Revelio. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Bar uh, in Barneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulus. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago, not to mention Barneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, I'll be si we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Pretty sure that's our parents. Rebellion. Yep, that's what I thought. And don't need that. Prepare her. Fantastic. There she is again. She's breathtaking from a distance. Agreed. Then again, up close, she'll probably still take our breath away, although in a more literal sense. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Poppy. Shut up. <laughs> Watch your step. Anything in here? Or we're just raring for a fight. Uh, considering it's not eaten, um, I'm, I'm probably going with the whole looking for a fight bit. Quiet. What was that?
Oh, no, give me the whole over here thing. Thing up here. Nope. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll keep at it. Too warm, if you ask me. I was just fixing to say. <laughs> I don't suppose she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past that. Get to that ocean below. If we can get to that, we can get to the nest. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. I love that dash talent. Made that so much faster. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. Um. You're concerned as to why the wooden bridges are destroyed in the territory that's home to a pissed off now, fire breathing if we just dragon. Her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. It's kind of a silly question to ask there, Poppy. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed uh. creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Oh? Well, that explains what happens to Gran, now doesn't it? How could I have been so blind? All right. Take care of that. Uh, let's go meet with Sebastian. World map. I think that's the closest point. Off on another adventure, that's enough side stuff we? for the day. Well, how much? Bardo Beaumont. I for thought night. my owl might pique your interest. 
I came as soon as I could. I'd been so not preoccupied really. by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Uh, wands blazing. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Moon stones. I'm sure I'll need some more to, are up ahead. to keep renovating you my... Uh... No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who crosses. Oh. Ping pong. I can't wait to learn Avada Kedavra because once I get all those enemies marked, all those enemies marked, I can Avada Kedavra one and kill all of them. Hello. I really thought there'd be another enemy around here. But I guess not. Okay, let's uh Revelio. Got some good chests in here. Um Bye? Wait. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Kind of confused us so I didn't blow them off the edge, but oh well. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I choose. <laughs> hey, I definitely hit my uh King Palmer faces. It's a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively, relatively fun. fun. Yep. Anything else around here? Ooh, yes. Oh, I can't buy here. Okay. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How oh, nice. Yeah. Nothing yeah. I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. 
We're making quick progress. Eh. Seeing as how this is away from the target. Oh. That was a way to sneak in. <laughs> the th yeah, the thing we didn't do. Anything Revelio. Nothing in the immediate area. Let's go. For better or for worse, we're in. Mm. Where the hell did that barrel go? This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Bombarda! Kill oh. Fringo! There you go. Um... I'm really not seeing a way across here. I don't think I can jump this. Oh, maybe I can. I stand corrected. I thought that gap was too wide to jump. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. I was just to say how unfortunate. But I mean, what was that? Oh, no. Let me ah, give us a sniper sport. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why I couldn't target him, so I, I guess I can't target him. I have too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Rebellion. The way we came. Is this the way we need to go? Okay. Oh, that's the way we came. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, crap. Leviosa. Spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. I might sit here and say I hate spiders, but I certainly hold no love for them either. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Repair her. Don't think there really is a way to conjure stairs. Oh. 
to say all that for 25 gold. But no. All that for 90 gold. Come on. Yep, there. There you go. The mask. I just got a feeling I'm gonna fight another Acromantula. Here's lots of full. Did I not empty my inventory again before? No, I did not. Yep. Alright. See, I now have 32 slots. Think about all the juicy inventory space. Oh, ooh. All the juicy inventory space I would have had. And I, you know, it's far enough to empty my inventory. Uh, I'll do better. All right, just in case. No, wait. Not that. I want that. Hello? Eh. Hello, Clarice. And that should... Do... Nah. Nah. Not like that. Like an evil Mr. Rogers. This one? That one. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. No, oh, wait. Loyalists have all but declared war. Since we're not doing any sneaking, Lumos. Lumos. Come on. Where's my Confringo? Confringo. Ooh, big chest. And what's in here? Another chest. Large decorated table. Oh, okay. Lumos. Lumos. And over here. Another chest. Never did destroy all the greens. I mean, I am sitting on almost 10k. I really don't have too much to buy with it anymore. So I'm not that concerned about losing money. Expelliarmus! 
came really you you came by yourself that seemed rather foolish I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Hey, you. You guys have sniper support. Thanks for help. We're not finished yet. It's all hey, big guy, give us a hand. cleared the room. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much a rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Because generally Slytherins are only brave when there's something in it for them. At which point, that's not bravery, that's greed. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rooms in there. Wasn't expecting that. And actually, we're gonna take this, we're gonna bring this over here. Let me Okay, no, no, that, nah, that door opened. And the seven galleons and a pair of glasses I didn't need. Great. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? All I remember his eyes. Empty. Empty of sorrow, yes, but also. I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. The only hope is not the Black Death. At least, he's in dull in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Revelio. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Oh, Sebastian. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. 
Here's to some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Oh yeah, I mean the mirror wall's over here. I was just trying to see if there was anything else left to loot in there, but there's not. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. That's what she said. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. That didn't surprise me. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. I mean, I do remember those places. I do remember not every single goblin was there. Only certain goblins were there. I mean, at the end of the day, all will be equal underneath my servitude. So does it really matter where you came from? Not really. That was the house elf. Actually, we head to Hogsmeade and I'll dump off my inventory. No point in, you know, continuing further with a full inventory. You remember to empty the inventory once in a while. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. I'll be. And actually, that's something I might do while I'm here. So I might buy up all of his, um, his broom models. Right. It's not any better. Yeah. It's not an improvement, it's not even worth keeping. Let's go over here. And see what uh spell tomes I can buy. What spell crafts I can buy. This ain't this ain't D, &D. I ain't buying spell tomes yet. I like that I'm broke again. 
but well, as fast as I make money, it's not that big of a deal. You know, if I wanted to, I'd just go crazy freaking breeding and selling uh, animals. Oh, I just realized I never got rid of that scarf. Eh, if this is the winter time, I'll keep the scarf. Actually. Better. Yeah, I'll work. So guys, that is the episode for the day. Um, and remember, like I said, I should be streaming still at this point. So, you know. Oh, excuse me. I stretch. Hmm. Until next time. This is Argentum Lobo saying good night, good luck, and have fun. Bye.